Oh my god, we did it. We started a civil war in Germany. It's Czechoslovakia. This is simply beautiful, man. Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are here in the world of Road to 56 because, guys, I, I hear you loud and clear. In the previous Hoi 4 episode that I did where I was playing Czechoslovakia, that was definitely way too short of an episode, and I honestly shouldn't have done it the way that I did. But I saw a couple comments in there that intrigued me. Some that said that, hey, Stack, yes, the Czechoslovakia focus tree for the base game may be kind of crazy. Crap. But you really need to check out the Road to 56 version. And so I thought to myself, okay, I mean, it can't be all that special, right? I mean, Road to 56 adds some good stuff, but Czechoslovakia already has a focus tree. What more could they do different? Holy crap, was I wrong. For anyone who is unfamiliar with the game, Road to 56 is the same as the base game, except it adds in a whole bunch more flavor and other focus trees to nations that don't have them. Or in the case, it seems of like places like Czechoslovakia, it completely revamps everything about them to give them an actual special and fun tree. My God, this thing is so so good. So all right, let's go ahead and keep historical AI on and let's jump into this and we're keeping it on because I want one specific thing to happen that I'm going to show you just how insane this is. Here we are in 1936, Czechoslovakia, the grand speed bump of Europe, the thing designed to hopefully create a problem if the speed bumps don't get outsourced and uh, then then sold off for scrap here, apparently like they did in the case of the Sudetenland. Yeah, we're not going to let that happen here this time. First things first, got to get our classic research going up here. We're going to want that small airframe because Czechoslovakia doesn't have a navy, but we are going to need to dominate things in the air. Factory-wise, we actually have a pretty decent industry from the start of it, and let's go ahead and get some civvy factories just out of the way. Get those nice and started. Bohemia, you're the only industrial heartland that actually matters. Sorry, Slovakia. And military factory-wise, we have nine factories, but I don't need this support equipment. I don't need these tanks. What? That doesn't make any sense. What? Why would we need anything besides guns? I want to arm every single civilian in my entire country with lots of guns. So we're going to get rid of all those, and then we're going to put every single thing onto guns because we need to crank out as many men as humanly possible here. If you're wondering why, well, Czechoslovakia in this game has an exceptionally cool little feature that it can do. And that feature is going to be using the much more revamped focus tree that it has in this mod. I mean, there is so much stuff and flavor. Every single focus tree that you complete is going to tell its own little story, a little history about it cool little feature with Czechoslovakia. It's really nice. But the area where we want to go is right here. Legacy of the Czechoslovak Legion. Because, buddy, we're going to have some fun with this. Stack, you're not building your industry. You're not preparing for the inevitable when Germany comes after you. Well, if we play our cards right, that's not going to happen in the first place. So, okay, let things go and max out the speed. We need to produce as many guns as possible. Also, at the same time, we're going to start recruiting divisions. Max this out for as many as we possibly can. And put high equipment priority. We want to be able to produce all of these as quickly as possible. Hungry, you're embargoing me. Screw you. I don't care. Very little front line on the German border, and honestly, none of that else here really matters. It's okay. We're just going to throw troops as we recruit them onto the front line. History of the Czechoslovak Legion. See, this is what I'm talking about. The Czechoslovak Legion were volunteer armed forces composed predominantly of Czechs with a small number of Slovaks fighting together with the Entente powers in World War One. The goal was to win the Allies' support for independence. Like, it's just really cool details that they put in here about all the stuff in history, and I love it. And it even gives you options of what you're going to be doing with the varying bonuses. Like, okay, so you have the Czechoslovak legions, how are you going to utilize them? Do we use their influence to get more stability and political power? Do we support volunteer organizations, which allow us to send more volunteers to places? Or do we just get some army experience? Well, in my case, the thing that I'm going to want is definitely the volunteers. We're going to need that. And with the focus done, it's time to reorganize the general staff and get our military prepared. As we recruit soldiers, we are going to throw them onto the front line, go ahead and max this out, and boom. Yep, yeah, use our entire nation's population. That's all I care about. General staff, do we want to go with a guy who is trench warfare? Superior firepower or mobile warfare, superior firepower. We need all the base attack that we can get. And we're pumping out shot infantry, so it's kind of makes sense. Now, first little cool tidbit that happens in here. Expand the second department. This is automatically going to give us an intelligence agency, which is awesome. And then we can get things that will give us free expansions and upgrade our intelligence agency because the Czechoslovaks are not going to be screwed over by anyone. At least that's the goal. Of course, I say that, and then immediately we are going to have some problems in Sudetenland because naturally, of course, we would. Why would we not? Still, got that political power, so it is time to go over here and partial mobilization. Get those factories pumped out as quickly as possible. All right, second department of the general staff. Awesome, that is done. VZ is created. We're also going to get a spy from that. And now next step, expand the offensive section. Apply the upgrade form department to the intelligence agency. We just get to do this stuff for basically free without wasting our civilian factories. It's, it is pretty nice. All right, there's our factory thing done. Now, normally in this situation, 
you'd expect, okay, we need to go dispersed industry because you need dispersed industry because you're going to be attacked by the Germans and others. So you need to be able to defend yourself against their superior air force. No, concentrated industry, we're not going to need that at all. Am I spoiling this? I don't think I'm spoiling this by saying this, though I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put the part that I'm gonna do at the beginning as a hook. You know what, it's fine. Here's our agent and we actually have a German from the beginning by the name of Paul Thumel, who is an infiltrator, a safe cracker and a double agent. Super, super nice. Go ahead and get him started in Brandenburg. All right, there's expand the offensive section. Now it's time to infiltrate the Abwehr. We have a lot of Germans in our country, which means that we're gonna be able to infiltrate and send some German counter espionage over there and really screw with them. Add military intelligence service, which grants foreign subversive activities minus 20% and subversive activities cost minus 20%. We can, and gets us an extra operative slot. We can just really start screwing things and become a strong espionage focused nation. It's really cool. All right, keep on pumping these troops out, even though they're only half created and we are in a debt of like 20,000 guns now at this point, but it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. National Spain declaring war on Spain. So that is all breaking out into chaos down here. And the tale of Agent A54. So here we go. That is some really cool stuff that we can we can just get all this intelligence from the German military and just use that against them. Now next, the first spicy thing that this tree can do and why we haven't focused on industry whatsoever in here. We can sabotage the German Austro Alliance, which is going to weaken the chance of Austria actually joining with Germany, which is really cool. So that's going to weaken them. And now we're gonna need to start focusing on all of our stuff here for our infantry and get those boosted up. Get another spawn. Where are we sending you? Right into Germany, of course. And also, since I have the extra political power to spend at this point, let's go ahead and start getting things that boost our research so we can start researching stuff even faster. This is going to be nice. All right, there's the Austrian Alliance sabotage. Next up after this, and here we go, boys. This is the spicy one. This is exactly what we've been shooting for. Czechoslovakia in this mod gets a special focus that allows it to support a Wehrmacht officer crew. Crew, 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 coup. A crew of, a, cr a crew of Wehrmacht officers who commit a coup because the crew wants to coup. You know what I mean? We're going to assassinate the no-no mustache man. But as part of the special rule of this, the reason why I had to do what I did for recruiting all those men is because you have to have at least 40% of the military strength compared to the German Reich. Meaning you have to keep on pumping out troops as much as you possibly can, because otherwise there's no way I can really do anything against the Germans who can pump out so many more men. We have to max out our numbers as quickly as possible so we could get all 370,000 men in the field. Oh no, my agent got captured. Okay, well, hold on, there's that. Uh, we're, we're gonna need to save you. Dang it. The double agent got captured. Go figure. There we go, rescue mission complete. That is done. Now we can get these guys back out here. All right, sending the exact same people back in. Perfect. All right, there it is. Support the Wehrmacht officer coup. And now what happened? There it is. Oh my God. Civil war in Germany with the no-no mustache man's plane having crashed because the military seemed to turn against him. Oh my God, we did it. We started a civil war in Germany as Czechoslovakia. This is simply beautiful, man. Beautiful. The authoritarians are in there. I, I don't have any idea how many troops they actually have, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I'll tell you why. Germany, you're guaranteeing my independence. Why? Wh why? Why you of all things? Because guess what? One of the things that I had started doing was to justify on you in order to be able to get a war goal so that the moment war broke out, we could just go ahead and do do this. Are my troops lower quality? Yes. Does it matter? No. No, it does not. Because yes, I'll get a non-aggression pact from you, German Empire. Absolutely, I will. And you're going to lend least me. Thank you for providing me convoys. I totally needed that right now. Definitely. Percentage-wise, we've contributed 50% of the score. We're just blitzing through. We recruited all those cheap shot infantry. It doesn't matter. You know what? Balanced, aggressive, aggressive move. Sacrifice your lives for the glory of Czechoslovakia. Prioritize high garrisons. We need to maintain control of all these forces because I am already starting to run out of guns. Okay, support strategic industry, get ourselves some military factories. Increase your defense. Yes, we got this. This is so freaking cheeky. <laughs> Oh, I've completely even cut off the, uh, I completely even cut off the German military junta and I'm not going to give them military access because if I give them military access, then that just means that they're going to be able to take back the territory that is their core here. But I don't want to give them back their core. Screw them. Oh, Carlos Spain is now breaking out here into a civil war more in Spain. Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We are tearing through. I also am really running out of guns, but you know what? It's okay because the Germans are being completely wiped out there and we're arming the Czechoslovaks everywhere. And, oh, wait, I'm out of manpower. Uh, can, can I go up? Nope, I can't go up to the next level of conscription. 
that might be a little bit of a problem. Let's uh, let's just move down here to reform the government here real quick so we can try and resolve that one issue. Uh, the, the, the one down here, we have to prepare the student land autonomy because we're going to get a lot more Germans in our empire that I'm pretty sure are going to be very upset about the fact that they're, well, here. League of Nations embargo resolution? Yeah, of course we're going to embargo Italy. They suck. The, the, those warmongers. These warmongers down in Ethiopia? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. With Thorman, Amelia Earhart disappears. We've taken it. Taken it. German Reich falls and we have overwhelming support. Guys, I'm about to create something horribly, horribly skewed. This is, this is, <laughs> this is going to look awful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might have done something weird. <laughs> <laughs> they went democratic and we got a non-aggression pact. You know, you know what? I I think I think this is this is lovely. This is freaking lovely stuff. Oh, but I am really missing out on a lot of equipment. Uh okay, we're going we're going to take some of these forces and we're going to delete them. Why is there a cat? What the f Since when was there a cat in this mod to show that a troop could get a medal? Just delete some of the equipment. It's fine. It's fine. We go ahead and do that. That means that we'll have full manpower, I think. And the German Civil War is over. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now I think from this we can actually start building uh, other industry. The King of Shoes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. A Czech shoe manufacturer after the death of his half brother the owner and chief executive of the bada company yeah we, we we have a shoemaker who's gonna be in charge of rebuilding the economy and do you know why because we need to get these guys back on their own two feet reconstruction joke right there buddies and now that's done you know i think i think we need a little bit of safety over on this side so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna start fixing things over here on the hungarian side if you don't mind me time to reform the government boom that is done and support the sokol movement go ahead and get all that done nice Oh, hey, look, 1937, Germany is dead, and Japan just decided to wage war against uh, China. That seems smart. Diplomacy with the Kingdom of Hungary breakdown, despite our attempts to find a diplomatic solution to the conflict. Yeah, 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 yeah. Diplomatic solution, right? Wait, seriously? You would guarantee the independence of Hungary, among all things? What about Austria, if we justified on you instead? History of the Sokol movement from the Slavic word for falcon. Ah, gymnastics. But do we want them to be patriots or... Or more population. We're gonna get the population from Germany, so let's go ahead and get that stability. And now we can prepare Sudetenland autonomy, so that's going to fix a lot of our issues there. Awesome. League of Nations resolution to support the Ethian Empire. We should support this organization. Yes, absolutely. Screw the, the Italians down here. In fact, I don't want to do this anymore. We're gonna cancel the justification here and see if maybe we can get this one to complete first. We've been embargoed by Hungary for what? I haven't done anything. What do you mean? Ah, avert the Sudetenland in crisis since the founding of Czechoslovakia in 1918 extreme opposition and denial of franchise were perceived by the significant German minority. Most argue that the Sudetenland with its overwhelming ethnic German majority and exceedingly distinct culture and economic potential should manage its own political affairs. Well, we are going to prepare constitutional reform, which that, that'll last a year. Okay, so we'll take care of that. And in the meantime, hardline focus on our own resources and development. Actually, what is this? Secure arms deal? More trade bonuses and research speed. I will take that. We're already up to 22% research speed with the other bonuses that we have and that's only going to get stronger. I love the variability of this mod because you can get things like Revolutionary Minds, which increases your research speed by 10%. And then there are a variety of other bonuses. Like, yeah, the Czechoslovak armament export. That's just cool. You're just trading weapons. And I would really love to see this get even more bonuses when the next DLC releases that's going to have the whole guns for butter research or, or butter for guns. B basically where you get bonuses for actually selling weapons to people. Mineral resources for Czechoslovakia, get all those bonuses, excellent. And we can expand our heavy industry getting steel steel mills and pumping up our resources even more. Also, the fact that we took over all this German territory, our civilian factory, military construction, everything is just going up, 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 up. This is so stupidly powerful. There you go. Steel industry, urbanization. Now, I won't need building slots because we took all this other territory. So chemical industry development, get more city factories and synthetic resources. More research for all of this. And I'll say I could send out help down here to uh, Nationalist Spain, but I, I don't want to waste my resources right now. Oh, 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 what's this? The justification on Austria is done? Who could have ever anticipated something happening over here? What? I'm just the little democratic state of Austria. Or not Austria, Czechoslovakia. I'm getting confused, but you know what? Eventually, they'll all eventually join me, so it doesn't really matter. Chemical industry in Czechoslovakia. Uh, we're not going to use those over here on the Austrians, I promise. We're different this time. It's different than World War I. China embargoing me. I'm not doing anything. 
Like, yeah, we're fighting in the mountains, so we're losing thousands of men. But you know what? It's fine. They're sacrificing themselves for the greater glory and good. See? It's totally fine. It's totally, absolutely fine. Nothing to see here. We're just, we're just doing a little bit of expansion. And now we've surrounded the German Republic on all sides. <laughs> if I wanted to right now, I, I, I could also probably take them out. I could also probably take out the German Republic because these borders suck. Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon. Okay, I wonder if anything is going to happen there because if they attack someone, I could immediately justify on them an attack. They won't be guaranteed at that point if they're starting wars. And I, little old Czechoslovakia, would never ever do that. No, no, absolutely not. The Czech Technical University in Prague. Hey, yeah, getting some good degrees. We're getting some intelligence is what we're doing. Intelligence to expand our explosives. Republic of Turkey delivers no, 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 it's Turkey, kindly go to hell. Fall of Athens? What do you mean fall of Athens? What? Oh, wait, when was Greece being, a what? Oh, well, that's interesting. I was not expecting them to go after Greece so early, but okay. Czechoslovakia explosive industry, expand explosia, expand synthesia. All right, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take the support artillery bonuses. That seems really nice. And now to get ourselves some rubber. Increased tire productions. Yes, we are developing all of our stuff. And I'm pretty sure that since the, uh, the Germans are gone, that means the Soviets are probably gonna be the more aggressive one in this game. So so we will need to start preparing for them, but we pretty much have this finished. Artillery modernization, oh my God, after all the bonuses we already got, that could be huge. Well, either way, let's reorganize the Ministry of National Defense, get ourselves a research, oh no, wait, no, research speed is a research slot. Yep, there it is. Get even more bonuses to our development because Czechoslovakia as a democratic path, being able to just find do all that other shit in this mod is just so much more fun. And since we have the 100% bonus, might as well go up to the next level of artillery and just keep on going because we're gonna get some bonuses that we might even be able to reach the 1942 level by 1940 for artillery and that's going to be some big boomy power for our units ah oh, the checks and blowing things up it's a match made in heaven there you go ministry of national defense expand the jurisdiction of the general inspector i want those attritional bonuses the ministry of national defense was designed to take care of all affairs related to the military buildup of which we built up a lot and we did a lot military science institute go ahead and get that one which is gonna oh allow us to do even more stuff here more research speed we're already at 42 percent which means that we're going to be able to get 47% research speed bonus for everything. Wait, no, hold on. That's the constitutional reform one. No, no, no. Cancel this. Cancel this. That means we can go down here and do autonomy for the German region. Wait, so I either choose to not have them be a core or lose two civilian factors. Okay. Oh, regular Spain got annexed, which means we just have the Carlist Kingdom up here as well as the uh, the anarchists. That's neat. I'm actually amazed that the nationalists were able to do that even without German support. There it is. Autonomy to Sudetenland. So some degree of autonomy will be sufficient, which is content minorities. It just hurts that a little bit or Sudetenland will require higher autonomy. Oh, oh, no longer course. No, 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 no. Just some degree of autonomy. Just some degree of autonomy. You can kindly control yourselves, Germans. Thank you very much. Wait, what is this? Petition the League of Nations? Special bonus, the British and French will side with the Czechs during the Munich conference. Wait a minute, hold on. You're telling me that I could have forced them to actually side with me and help defend me instead of giving me up? Dude, see, this is what I'm talking about. This mod makes it so that stuff for Czechoslovakia is even more fun than in the base game. Like that is an incredibly good bonus. I love that. All right, here is the Military Institute that is done. Increased funding for the Military Science Institute. We are now at 47% research speed. This is incredibly fast and we are going to get a sixth research slot. This is insane. Oh, there goes Zog submitting to Italy. And that means that Italy actually has Greece in this entire region. Pretty nice for them. Which, okay, I guess this presents us with two options that we have down here then. To improve the treaties with the Soviets, which we don't actually really need against this because this is another thing that could have actually guaranteed us if we still still stayed democratic, we still could have gotten guaranteed by the Soviets. So they would have helped us against the Germans. But we can get the little Entente and then form an alliance with Romania and Yugoslavia and then get intervention in Hungary and then claims on the former Bohemian crown lens. And not gonna lie, I think that sounds amazing. The little Entente rises again. Revise the little Entente. Let's try and restore it. Can we do it? Yeah! I can invite to faction Yugoslavia. Yeah, you can join. Which allows us to bypass that. And then in turn, we can go down here and what? Invite Romania. Kingdom of Romania refuses? Refuses? How dare you? How dare you, good sir? Well, I guess there's only the one option for intervention in Hungary, which if I had known this before, I wouldn't have gone after them precisely just yet because now they're guaranteed by freaking Britain. So I gotta wait and see if anything else happens in the world before I can do anything because I am not prepared to take on the British. Instead, let's start preparing more stuff for our equipment. Czechoslovak firearms, here we go. Order heavy machine guns or modernized standard issue weapons. Yeah, modernized standard issue weapons. That's what we want. So we're gonna go 
go ahead and get that bonus. And then if we can get the next one after that, oh man, we'll be able to do even more. Oh, firearms and munition deliveries. Yes, yes, yes. One year ahead of time penalty plus potentially 100% bonus. Yeah, yeah, this could be good. Secure arm deliveries, expand. Oh my God, we get even more stuff. One year ahead of time for a reduction of infantry weapons or we reduce the cost of producing infantry equipment, which is nice but I want that better bonus. I want that technology. We can get that super fast as we're just increasing our bonuses even more. Whoa, wait, what was that? What was that just happened? Oh, the Baltic. The Baltic just got taken by the Soviets. So now we have secure armament, artillery modernization, get even more bonuses for research. Holy crap, the checks are so strong. Oh, yep, there goes the Soviets after the Finns. Are the Finns allied with anyone? Is anything there? No, the guaranteed? Nope, nope, no big world war yet. Artillery modernization, uh, what's next? to my intervention in Hungary, I can't do anything against them. And I guess the Czechs are working on some uranium mining then. No one will ever threaten our sovereignty again. Polish-Romanian alliance, really? Really? That, I guess that happened then. That's surprising. No, I guess that means we finally need to start working on our air force, getting this prepared because it's the only way that we're going to be able to start fighting against the British. So let's go ahead and get that made. Wait, the United Kingdom invades Iraq. Why? Why? Uh, to, I guess sell uranium to the allies? What? For what purpose? Hold on. The whole reason that the UK invaded Iraq in the first place is specifically because they didn't want the access to potentially get access to oil. That was the whole reason. You're just being a freaking warmonger now. What the hell? I already killed Germany. You know, I cannot stand that. It's time to intervene in Hungary and see if maybe, maybe will the UK back off. Wait, what the hell? French Republic versus French Commune. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? What the hell? When were the communists rising up? I didn't even do anything. All right, there is intervention in Hungary, which means claims on the former Bohemian crown lands. The Slavic Serbs of Lestania always want to be part of Czechoslovakia. Let's put pressure on Germany and do it. 1942, getting these bonuses. We're already going to be getting the 1942 level of artillery. Holy crap. French Republic declares an awesome. Why are you going after... What? Wait, wait, what is the Afar Republic? What is going on down here? I don't even understand it. Claims on Lusatia. We must protect our Serbian friends from the German oppressors. Yes. Well, I may not be able to go after Hungary, but I can at least finish off Germany because that should have happened by now. So let's uh, just go ahead and do that. Wait, trade influence. No, no. They joined the allies. They joined the freaking allies. No. Oh my God. They're taking. No. Call the allies. Come on. Call them all in. You might be blitzing through my lands, good sir. Yes. There goes the German Republic. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh God. Wait, when the, when did you get over here? This shouldn't have happened. I'm not even going to have Italy to help defend me. I'm freaking Czechoslovakia. You know what? It doesn't matter. Push back. Push back. We got this, buddies. Are you launching a naval invasion on me in the Western Balkans? No. Defend the territory, Yugoslavia. America. No. Why is America involved in this? I even played it smarter and this crap happened. Why, for the love of God, would the United States join in on... Wait, no, they didn't. They didn't join in. Okay, keep on going. If we can push through the line, push through the line. Don't let them, don't let them invade. Northwest... No, 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 no. You are not going to attack me here. There we go. Wipe those out. Don't let them invade. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Luxembourg gone. We are moving way through. Oh God, we're out of all this now here. Uh, everyone in the army, join up, join up now. Okay. Okay. Even more. Com no, no, not Poland. Wait. Oh crap. Belgium is gone. Uh, but we are being invaded by Czechoslovakia. So let's pour our troops over onto the side and we need to defend this as quickly as we can. Crap. Wait, no, no, no. We actually managed to surround a whole bunch of their troops. French Republic. No, no, they survived. No, they're invading. They're invading me again. No, no, no. This is it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, oh God. Yes, yes, yes. Soviets declare war on the Poles. Yes, I never thought I'd be so happy to say that. Please save my life. There we go. Wipe them all out. Come on. Come on. We're holding over on this side. Oh God, we're losing in the north. We're losing in the north. Please just hold out, Soviets. No, you naval invaded the other side. Quick, just hold the north. Hold the north. We can push south. Oh, fall of Paris. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep pushing in. Keep pushing in. We're almost there. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. 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 Defend. 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 This is so stupid. You naval invaded all of my shit and I can't block anything. Hold, hold people. The French are almost gone. France, France is gone. Yes. Oh God, but I'm almost gone too. Uh, <laughs> uh, this was a mistake. I played something super strong and even now I'm still screwing up. 
All right, reflood the line for the other side. Come on. The Yalta Conference with the war in Europe progressing apace. Wait, what do you mean? No, we're not cooperating with the Soviet Union and all this. What do you mean? I'm fighting the Allies. Who are counter-invading France after I already killed it? There goes Danzig, the Polish Republic, but France is coming back again. I don't have the manpower to cover everything. Okay, there's Poland cleaned up, which means finally we can move in on this side. They, they, their, their numbers are finally gone. I've been desperately trying to recruit as many people as I can, but I can't hold back the tide because I don't have the equipment. Luxembourg falls again. Are you invading again in Yugoslavia? No, not again, please. Not this crap. Stop going after my land. I fought and killed for this fair and square, damn it. Belgium once again falls. No, no, the war in the Pacific. No, that means America is joining in now. There, there, finally. Finally, we're, we're almost out of oil. We're almost out of everything, but we click. No, no. Not again. Netherlands? You're gonna join my faction? Sure, Netherlands. Join the party then. How many of you lost at this point for all this? 600,000 versus 3 million. Oh my God. Guys, That we did it. We conquered all this territory. It's 1941, but um, I there's no way it's possible for me to actually get a Navy for another like five or six years potentially to be able to take out the United Kingdom. So that's it. That's uh, that's the Czechoslovak Republic having conquered the entirety of Western Europe. What the hell, man? I, I, I don't think I could do anything else. This is so stupid and they keep on naval invading me. I know I could put a garrison, but I physically don't have the troops to be able to. <laughs> I can't cover all of my border. So you know what? If I hadn't done that stupid thing and gone and attacked uh, Germany at that moment, I could have been probably completely safe. But as it stands, the Czechoslovak Republic reigns, reigns supreme up here, just surrounded by continuous naval invasions and more crap going in here to France. That was an incredible amount of fun. I will say it's just the, fun, the sound, the sound of naval invasions constantly occurring. That was still, in the end, an incredible amount of fun. And I, I, I love the Czechoslovak tree in Road to 56 so much more than the base game. Everyone, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end things here today. I appreciate all of you for watching. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And if there's any other really like fun or weird trees or anything that you all know or are aware of and would like to see, please, by all means, let me know down in the comment section below. I also ask that you like, comment, subscribe, and show whatever support you can here for this channel. If there's a different way that you'd want me to do things, please, I'm all ears. Let me know, guys. Besides that, I will see you all later. Have a good rest of your day and goodbye, everyone.